Chapter 5 Season 2 is just around the corner with the Titan Hand now appearing on the map next to Ruined Reels. It's no surprise now that the theme for the new season is going to be Greek mythology, with Ares, Zeus, Hades, and Cerberus all appearing on Pandora's box. What we need to do now as a community is actually release Pandora's box from the Titan's hand. To do so, we need to do 5 trillion damage to the chains that hold onto Pandora's box. So make sure you do damage before season two arrives. So that way phase two can start and Pandora's box will release whatever is inside. So what I wanna talk about today is what can make chapter five season two a peak season and let's be real there's a lot to live up to when it comes to being the season two of a chapter because we've had chapter one season two we've had chapter two season two which is arguably the best season of all time we've had chapter three season two which brought us zero build and then we had chapter four season two and i believe for this upcoming season to be peak there needs to be some map changes i think our chapter five season one map was solid it reminds me a lot of the chapter two map where it was really big and there just wasn't that many locations for how big of a map it was so it got kind of dull some of these locations look the same like grand glacier and lavish layer and even though there are a couple different biomes like the snow biome a normal grass area and then a forest there needs to be more added to this map because of how big it is i think it'd be great if we had a desert biome maybe by snooty steps or maybe by ritzy rivera or because this season is going to be greek mythology we have a huge water location near grand glacier where that icy waterfall is and that could be poseidon's location what we also need on this map is smaller locations that you can still land at and get plenty of loot that are in between the big pois like for example in the chapter 4 map we had the racetrack or we had the trailer park i feel this map needs locations like that to make it feel more full and so there's more variety and because season two is going to be greek mythology i think it'd be great to have an olympus location maybe similar to the agency right in the middle of the map and it would be really cool to involve more titan hands on the map maybe at like each corner of the map along with turning some of the locations we have now maybe like rebels roost into a more greek mythology feel so it really fits the theme now moving on on to the battle pass hypex has shown what the possible skins could be we don't know for sure but this is most likely what the battle pass will look like now this battle pass looks insane so far i would be very happy if this was the actual battle pass and i can't wait to see these skins in game but i think there needs to be some tweaks to how they do the battle pass first i think we need to get the secret skin way sooner it took months before we got solid snake i do feel like we get a lot now for just 950 v bucks in regards to different styles for the skins but i feel like these skins need to have a little more life to them and i think character trailers would really do that like they did back in chapter 2 season 2 for those battle pass skins also speaking of chapter 2 season 2 i would also love to see a battle pass lobby like we had in chapter 2 season 2 season 3 and season four. I think it just brings more life to the game. It brings more life to those characters and it just brings a little more excitement to the battle pass. Now, it definitely needs to feel like the theme and that's what it looks like so far from the leaked skins. I just hope they don't go the route where like Hades looks like an anime skin or they do the typical hot topic looking chick. I wouldn't want to see Medusa looking like that. Now, moving on to the storyline, I am a little bit behind when it comes to the lore of the storyline, especially with this chapter five, season one. It felt like Peely was gone for so long. Then all of a sudden, one day we got him like Jonesy was able to get him I feel like the challenges or the quests should have more dialogue for the storyline week to week but with Greek mythology what I would just generally love is a clear smooth and epic storyline that really makes sense throughout the season I would also love to see some of these chapter 5 season 1 characters continue through the chapter 5 storyline I don't want to see just one and done characters like Valeria Hope of course Jonesy they should all still be involved with the storyline. Maybe even some other high society members like Nisha, Montague, Oscar. It would be really cool to see them throughout chapter five. Something that was really unique that chapter five season one brought was medallions. They definitely nerfed them a lot to the point where it almost wasn't worth picking up once you gained your 50 shield it was almost better to drop them so you weren't tracked throughout the map i think something that would be really cool for this season using these medallions so instead of recharging shield we gain that greek gods or goddesses powers almost think of it like chapter two season four with the marvel season how we were able to get some of the superhero powers like dr doom Groot, iron man i think that would be a fresh fun take to the game in a good way to mix up how we use the medallions and speaking of change to the game there definitely needs to be a loot pool change now 
I did enjoy this loot pool. I love the weapon bench. I do think there needs to be more of them on the map. I don't know what they need to do to the snipers, but there needs to be a nerf, especially for zero build. It's not fun. Just pretty much getting in sniper wars all game, every game. It'd be really cool if some of the ARs or SMGs or really any of the weapons had a Greek mythology theme to them, similar to some of the underground weapons that we had in this past season. Something that also needs a change is a change in the shotgun meta. I'm fine with keeping the pump and the auto frenzy, but I think a shotgun like the TAC should come into the game or replace one of the shotguns we had with a shotgun like the tap i would prefer to keep the pump but that's just me now last but not least what i think chapter 5 season 2 needs to be peak is an end of the season event there of course needs to be small map changes throughout the season there needs to be more consistent updates compared to what we got in chapter 5 season 1 there needs to be more change to the loot pool but but the fortnite community really comes together when it comes to events and fortnite is known for having incredible events especially at the end of the season like the monster vs the mech like when we fought galactus so it'd be really nice to bring something like that back and it really helps with the storyline as well and keeping track of what's really going on so some quick ideas i have is maybe poseidon gets mad throughout the season and floods the map and it kind of goes similar to chapter 2 season 3 how we start with the map being flooded into the new season or maybe zeus strikes down the fortnite island with lightning bolts and causes it to look apocalyptic destroying a lot of the locations and biomes or hades brings the underworld up to the fortnite island that's my personal favorite but let me know what crazy idea you think the event should be and let me know are you hyped for chapter 5 season 2 what do you think needs to change from last season to this season to make it a peak season if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like and subscribe use code tune spider in the fortnite item shop to support me and i hope you have a great rest of your day peace